The investigation into the alleged racist and homophobic attack against took a turn on Saturday, February 16. Chicago Police Department spokesman confirmed on Saturday that following the arrest and release of two Nigerian brothers who were taken into custody as persons of interest, the case has in fact shifted the trajectory of the investigation. Police are requesting a follow-up interview with the Empire Star, 36. The authorities now believe Smollett paid the two men to orchestrate the assault, according to CNN. Following the claims that he staged his attack, Smollett's attorney released a statement to ABC7 Chicago. As a victim of a hate crime who has cooperated with the police investigation, is angered and devastated by recent reports that the perpetrators are individuals he is familiar with. He has now been further victimized by claims attributed to these alleged perpetrators that Jossie played a role in his own attack. Nothing is further from the truth, and anyone claiming otherwise is lying, the statement read in part. One of these purported suspects was Jussie's personal trainer who he hired to ready him physically for a music video. It is impossible to believe that this person could have played a role in the crime against Jesse or would falsely claim Jesse's complicity. The men arrested in the case were released from police custody on Friday, February 15. Due to new evidence as a result of today's interrogations, the individuals questioned by police in the Empire case have now been released without charging, and detectives have additional investigative work to complete, Guglielmi said via a statement on Twitter. Earlier that day, the Chicago Police Department confirmed to Us Weekly that two men had been arrested in the case. Hours later, Guglielmi told the Associated Press that the alleged criminals were persons of interest and were brought into police custody because of probable cause that they may have committed a crime. After ABC7 Chicago called the incident a hoax on Thursday, February 14, Guglielmi told us that Smollett is being treated by police as a victim, not a suspect, and that there is no evidence that proves the attack was staged. The Mighty Ducks alum was hospitalized on January 29 after he was allegedly attacked in the early morning hours by men who screamed racial and homophobic slurs at him while he was out getting food from a local Subway sandwich shop. Smollett spoke out in an emotional Good Morning America interview with on Thursday. They called me of F, T, they called me of N, G. There's no which way you cut it, he said of his attackers. I've heard that it was a date gone bad, which I also resent that narrative. I'm not gonna go out and get a tuna sandwich and a salad to meet somebody. That's ridiculous. And it's offensive.